think she would have needed a performance tonight? Nubbish. <laughs> <laughs> well, Rod Stewart jokingly predicted that the Queen was underwhelmed by his performance at her Jubilee, that certainly was the reception from us non-royals. A lot of people thought Rod's vocals weren't particularly strong on the Neil Diamond track, but before his less than sweet rendition, Rod made it clear to both the BBC and the crowd that it wasn't his choice. And the BBC said, uh, what's the other one, Sweet Caroline? Yeah. It wasn't my choice, but you know. Oh, but it's a great song, isn't it? Is. it? Yeah, there's not one of mine. Next! <laughs> the BBC made me sing it. Join in, make it comfortable for me. So the crowd did what they could to make it but it still was a little uncomfortable. How can I hurt when I'm with you? So Rod only got to sing two songs at the Jubilee, so why was he singing the Neil Diamond classic in the first place? Well, a month prior to the Jubilee, BBC Radio let listeners choose what song they wanted to hear sung at the Jubilee that would be uplifting and that everyone could sing along to. So they chose the Neil Diamond song. So then someone had to sing it, and BBC decided on Rod. It don't seem so lonely. That strikes me as a very odd process. Like, Rod Stewart has a huge library of songs. So why didn't BBC Radio make the poll, you know, which Rod Stewart song do you want to hear at the Jubilee? And if Rod Stewart wasn't in place a month before when they did this vote, why not wait <laughs> till you have the artists in place and then get them to choose a song? Like, to just arbitrarily do this poll, a song's chosen, then you got to figure out who's got to sing it, it's, yeah, it just strikes me as weird. Sweet now, Rod isn't too broken up about it. A few hours ago, he posted fan-captured footage on his Instagram story, adding, it was good times. Part of Rod's discomfort from singing Sweet Caroline might be around the fact that that song is linked to Rangers FC, who are an arch rival to his beloved Celtics. And Rod acknowledged that playful feud in an Instagram post the day before the Jubilee. Now let's be clear, Rod's underwhelming vocals weren't just due to the fact that he was singing a song outside his own catalog. He also sang Baby Jane. You no one to talk to. So yeah, Rod's voice isn't as strong as it once was. Now to be clear, he's 77 years old. That's amazing that he's up there, up there on the stage singing and dancing in front of a massive crowd. It's amazing. Yes, when I'm 77, I will probably not be doing that. But we don't have to ignore the fact that his voice isn't as strong, but he's still having fun. The people that go to see his concerts are still having fun. That's awesome. But yeah, we don't have to ignore the fact that his voice isn't as strong. But yeah, he's doing his thing. Let him do his thing. If you don't want to watch it, you don't want to watch it. But yeah, let's just not blame the vocals on he didn't want to sing Sweet Caroline. But yeah, what do you think of Rod's um, less than sweet work?